mm-hmm. have to find your own inner strength and kind of accept a certain level of risk taking when you're an entrepreneur. For me, having a great team around me and people that kind of shared my objectives, that was very helpful. I was working in advertising before setting up Seraphine. I really wanted to create my own business and I discovered this niche of maternity wear where I thought, here's something where there's really a need and I can come in and bring something that you know is not on the market. Now we can sort of fast forward and it's the 15th uh, birthday of Seraphine this year. So, you know, reflecting back on that journey, I think when I started, I had a really ambitious plan. I did want it to be a multi-million pound business. Um, What I didn't envisage is that it would be so international. And I think, you know, thanks to the development of e-commerce, we have actually been able to really take the brand in dozens and dozens of countries. So now on a daily basis, we ship to over 40 countries. So that's something I couldn't have imagined. We dress a lot of celebrities, um, you know, from sort of rock star, supermodel, uh, actresses, and and of course the royal family were really renowned for having dressed uh, the Duchess of Cambridge. For us, it was a real amazing moment that we had the so-called Kate effect. It really gave us kind of a springboard for the brand to be known internationally. We took that as a great opportunity um, and also as a great honor. My advice for people looking to start on the entrepreneurial journey would be really to ensure that you surround yourself with like-minded entrepreneurial people and if you can have a mentor that will give you a lot of help in terms of having a sounding board ensure that you really build a strong team around you and that you allow them to be as enthusiastic as you are with your business because sometimes as a business entrepreneur you can have a very sort of this is my business and try to hold on too much of the ownership and I think giving your team a sense of shared ownership is really important when you create a business you have to be passionate about what you do for it to be successful so clearly there's a natural inclination that you will be more passionate about something that is something you've needed experienced Um, and i think it's fantastic that there are more and more women entrepreneurs coming and fixing you know problems for other women with products or services Um, and it's a really exciting time for for women uh, in entrepreneurship